Welcome to Preform Line Products. The following presentation illustrates the recommended hand application of the Cushion Grip Suspension, or CGS. The surface of the conductor must be free of dirt and oxidation before the Cushion Grip Suspension is installed in order to provide sufficient metal-to-metal -metal contact. Wire brush clean the section of conductor that the Cushion Grip Suspension will be applied to. For coastal environments, Applying conductive oxide inhibitor to this area will minimize the buildup of corrosive contaminants. Plumb the suspension units and mark on the conductor where the center of the clamp will fall using a felt pen or lumber crayon. It is important not to notch the conductor strands while marking the installation point. The cushion grip suspension is shipped fully assembled in order to prevent lost hardware in the field. Remove the pin and cotter key, or bolt, nut, and cotter key. Completely disengage the top bolt of the clamp assembly from its nut. Note that this bolt is held captive in the housing using a small rubber o-ring. Loosen the bottom two bolts, making sure not to back them completely out of their respective nut. This will permit the clamp to pivot open on the bottom two bolts. If the bolts are not completely loosened, installation of the clamp on the largest conductor in the clamp range may be difficult. Place the clamp on the conductor, lining up the suspension pinholes with the mark made on the conductor and the structure connection point. Push in the top bolt to engage it in the captured nut in the opposite housing half. Tighten by hand until snug. Begin tightening the three bolts with a torque wrench, alternating between them like replacing a tire, to ensure that torque is applied evenly across the entire unit. The bolts must be torqued to the value shown in the application procedure included with the product. Please note that different diameter ranges require different torque values. The housing halves should remain parallel with equal gaps between them at the top and bottom. After torquing all bolts to the specified value, recheck the bottom two bolts to ensure they are properly tightened. Note that failure to properly tighten all three bolts could result in gap noise between the conductor and housing halves. Line up the holes in the CGS ears and the eye of the suspension attachment point. Reinsert the clevis pin or bolt and replace the cotter key or nut and cotter key. Installation of the cushion grip suspension is now complete. All safety guidelines set forth in the appropriate application procedure for this product must be reviewed and followed prior to installing this product. The installation shown is intended to illustrate the application method of the product only. It is not intended to supersede any standard utility safety guidelines and practices or use of required protective equipment.